fair warning you already know this is your boy zod this chick is seriously demented i'm gonna go ahead and just show you this first little clip i got another clip of this chick talking and i'm guaranteeing you for the people that don't really understand what mental health is about or just sick people out there in the world you're gonna find out real soon So once again, I had this something I heard called a miracle. There's so many things I did to her. And since this is my final video, I'm going to try to get it out there. Um, there was a lot of things I did to her. Um, I used to pinch her skin. Um, if she woke me up at 3 a.m., I would literally throw her to the floor. <laughs> I would literally throw her to the floor. Or I would pinch her skin really hard. And she would cry. Um, I used to choke her, slap her, punch her, and all type of things when she was a few days old. And I did a lot of things to her, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to get it all out there. I did a lot of stuff to Corey Miracle. I used to pinch her skin. Um, I remember one time she woke me up at 3 a.m. and I was really pissed off, so I grabbed her by her arm and I jerked her out of her little crib. I grabbed her arm and I jerked her out of her crib and damn near broke her arm off. <laughs> and I pinched her skin so hard, I said, don't wake me up and I'm off. Y'all probably say, where exactly are you going with this? I see you really trying to take it there. Old school flow, chew you out. Ain't fair, Jordan Pairs. Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Zah back at you real quick. As you know, this channel has always been controversial. You know, a lot of people have been put off by it. Some people have enjoyed it. And it's always a mixed bag of, you know. But what I really wanted to get into today is basically... Uh, two clips that I had seen actually I've seen a lot more but it's just after listening to this particular chick for as long as I did I just couldn't really stomach it see there's been a video going around on the internet for quite some time I think it's like something around 2019 that it first came out or that well that's when I guess people had caught wind of it because I think that's like the oldest uh, stamp that I've been able to find on this particular person but I'm gonna go ahead and show like two clips. Don't get don't get me wrong. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna show you nothing graphic, but I'm just gonna tell you and show you a prime example of just how much mental illness and and pedophilia, even though people like to mix them up in the same a lot because they would like to be able to get away with it by classifying it as a mental illness. It's a sickness, and for people that, that choose to partake in those particular acts are sick individuals. Now, this particular individual is a female, and the way she degrades her daughter and says what she'll have done to her is something to behold. You know what I mean? At first, you know, when I first seen it, I, I, was, I thought it was a hoax, and I still think it's just her talking out of her ass, but it's just how graphic she goes into it. And if you if you were to check this particular person out on the internet, you would see exactly how much uh, her mental illness shows. And she's unapologetic about it. She feels that there's nothing wrong with being the way she is. And to be honest, when you're dealing with mental issues, it is what it is. There's no way to really get around it. It's basically one of those things that you got to uh, live, live with, you know what I mean? Unless you can't. But... This particular chick, like if you sit down and, and watch, like, and don't get me wrong, when you're going to see this and you're probably going to get really upset. Some of you are going to brush it to the side. Some people that actually come to my channel are probably going to actually be with it because somewhere in that mind of theirs, they see things uh, like this as normal. And to be honest, with everything that's going on on the Internet and, 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 and how pedophilia is running rampant, uh, you know, uh, I could see why people would get away with it, especially knowing that social media and just media period tend to cater to this particular audience. I mean, you see it in it, everything from diaper ads to uh, sexual in, in your windows with, with pageants and, and it, anything that you can you can think of, they do. And it just goes up under the radar. And a lot of it they, they put out on, on the Internet to uh, desensitize uh, the subject they they did it. it it's like when when people first start coming out uh, about being gay for a long time it was frowned upon you know what i mean 
but little by little they started to desensitize uh the public so now instead of people rallying against it everybody in order to be politically correct goes with the flow and don't get me wrong i don't care whatever individual or female or whatever uh, wants to go with somebody that they love regardless of whatever has nothing to do with me that's between them and God now pedophilia is one of those things that is between it ain't between them and God it's between the general public and those individuals and 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 more and more the the more the more that I look on the internet I'm starting to notice a pattern and it has nothing to do with men there's a lot of women out there that prey on uh on innocent children as well. If I'm talking low, it's because, you know, my son, I have to get up in the morning with him because he has to do his schoolwork. So, you know, I have to talk low seeing that I continuously do videos this late. But what I really wanted to people to get a general idea of, not even, let me take that back because I hate when I said, but I just want people to witness these type of people actually exist. Now, people always think along the line of things like Epstein and, and Gillard or whatever her name is and all these people that are in the news that are really big things right now but they fail to realize that there's a lot of them that go up under the radars like that one dude they released I think in Texas in Arizona where he was like a, he was like a, a serial rapist but they put him in a mental hospital because somehow he was able to wiggle up in there but that's besides the point what I'm saying is society has become so comfortable with the shock value and things that, I mean, they got posters where it's a dude holding a child's hand. They're trying to have these things pass and then they put a uh, rainbow on it so they can try to mix that group together. Understand, regardless of what anybody feels about that particular group, they do not align themselves with pedophiles. Plain and simple. So if you see a gay guy on the street, don't go attack him and think, oh, you have something to do because they don't. They, but you know, these sickos constantly try to align themselves with this particular group because they get things done. Now, like I said, the video that I'm about to show you is going to be disturbing. And there's little snippets. If you really just go and listen to this chick, I think she's bipolar because her it seems like manic episodes constantly. It, she goes as far as to beat herself on camera saying that she got so alternate personality. Now, people say it's just jokes. But even today, she had got, I guess, they they had took her kid away from but she got her back. And then if you look in her caption, she says something about she's hoping some dude will rape her kid. Like, it's just, it's sick. Like I said, this is one of those videos. And if you don't believe me, her name is Lovely Peaches. And even, you know, a lot of people had showed me this and I thought it was just, you know, like I said, it was a hoax. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you snippets of this video and then I'm going to give my response at the end. Now, understand if you are sensitive, which you don't have to be sensitive for this to bother you. But if you're one of those that just really can't stand seeing or hearing disturbing shit, then go ahead and click off the video right now. And... I guess we'll just go. Be back. Okay, I'm going to be totally honest. The thing about my daughter is that she had sex with my boyfriend. I remember I came in and he was fucking the shit out that little pussy. And I remember I was like, why are you fucking my four-month-old daughter? And, like, he was just fucking the shit out of her. And then I started, I, I was enjoying it. Like, I started watching and I started enjoying it. So, like, it's just weird. Okay, I'm going to be... Sick as bitch like I said warning you'll see exactly what I'm talking about hopefully nobody gets offended by this video but this particular chick have been on TikTok I guess for years or you know supposedly she has a YouTube channel supposedly she just got her kid back but yet still in her comments she's putting things about getting her kid raped and things of that nature so I'm just saying like this is the type of individuals you deal with that be out here like even if what she says is considered satire to her she's true if you go look this chick up lovely peaches or whatever they got so many fan pages made for her it's it's unsettling how many people actually praise this particular chick and she is dirty you know what i mean but anyways man that's on you that's on you to judge her uh some people think you know it's comedy some people believe it who's to know but 
Yeah, her name rings bells. That's all I'm going to say. Baby's news. She's only two years old, and I was snapping it up for her little pussy. Now you see what I'm talking about. Like, there's longer ones in this, but that's all I'm gonna put because the other ones are extremely disturbing. Like I said, go trip out on this chick. She deserved to get her ass beat. That's all I'm gonna say, and I'm out. Okay. So you just saw exactly what type of individual this particular chick is. Now, like I said, since two th since 2019, this chick has been on the scene. I, from what I hear, she's a TikToker or was a TikToker, and they did, in fact, take her kid away, but she got her back. Like I said, I, I don't know if it was just her joking around, but if you go through all her videos they have and let me just tell you for the people that I'm like all oh, stupid people like this nothing you got to like brush it to the side they really don't have too much pull or anything like that go look at just just go to instagram and type up lovely peaches and see how many fan pages she got she's adored by a lot of people and if you listen to her content you're gonna be you're gonna you're gonna get a, a good idea of exactly how weird society is and how many actual sickles are out there. Cause anybody that would support this particular chick has to have issues. You know, you got dudes on there talking about she's pretty. That not only dudes but females. She's pretty. She's beautiful. I'm not gonna get on her looks or anything of that nature. I'm just gonna tell you that these people are delusional and they're the ones that's out here looking that that need to want to do something on that level i know a lot of them are pedophiles hoping that she actually will follow through with a lot of her threats and allow dudes to visit the house and in fact do what they want to to her daughter because they feel a keen spirit it's regardless of what you know people might think people that people may try to put blinders or, or wool over people's eyes but you cannot fake that. That is real if you listen to this chick. And I'm not going to be like all these other people come on here, snatch her kid away from her. Because it's, obviously, I think she stays in like Miami. Obviously, if, if the authorities are not taking her kids away or are, can, are keeping her away from her kids, then that's something that, that they have to deal with. You know what I mean? But like I said in a prior video, CPS and all, they always fail kids. And if, and if they and, and if nothing's going wrong, they they're it's funny because when they're all in your business is when there's nothing really going on. And when they fail this when kids are getting raped, kids are getting beat and all this terrible stuff. Like I said, my channel I bounce around, I talk about all types of subjects is what I feel I should need I need to talk about in this particular and understand this video is not monetized it can be monetized and even if it could I wouldn't this is just bring awareness to this particular chick now don't be one of those weirdos and go to her channel and subscribe or anything stay on her head you know what I mean because something's up with this chick and that's all I'm gonna say on this video it's your boy Zod hopefully you enjoy the rest of your night like, I'm constantly messing with this lighting and this audio. Well, not really with the audio, but, you know, you get it. But on that note, I'm your boy Zod. Enjoy the rest of your day. For the people new to the channel, subscribe, comment, whether it's hate or whether it's whatever. Just interact with the channel and we'll tell YouTube that my channel is worthy of watching. And on that note, I'm your boy Zod, and I'm out. Kneel before Zod!